Okay, we're going to go over horizontal asymptotes again. This time approaching the limit. Same idea, just a bit different. Now, in this question, what we're going to do is we're, again, going to factor because we're trying to find a horizontal asymptote. So we're going to factor out uh, our greatest term on the top and bottom of the fraction. Well, it turns out our greatest term on the top is x. So we're going to take 3x divided by x plus 5 divided by x divided by 2x. x is the greatest term on the bottom also. And 1 divided by x. When we take our factor out, we're going to be left with we're going to be left with x on the outside, 3 plus 5x. Again, sorry, we could have taken 3 out also, and we would have been left with 1. We'll still end up at the same answer, whether we take our coefficient out or not. Divided by And we take the x out, 2 plus, sorry, minus 1x. 1 over x. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the limit as x tends to positive infinity, a little different from what we did before. So in other words, we're also going to simplify this. That's going to give us 3 plus 5 over x and 2 minus 1 over x. We're now going to take infinity again and plug it in for our x values. That's going to give me 3 plus 5 divided by an infinite number, all divided by 2 minus 1 divided by an infinite number. We know when we divide by these infinite numbers, we're essentially creating zeros here. So we're left with a value of 3 over 2. Okay. So we're going to put that on a graph. We have a horizontal asymptote at 3 over 2, or easier for a graph, 1.5. Let's put up a graph here. We have an imaginary horizontal line cutting through about 1.5. Now, we need to talk about the behavior again. But this time we're talking towards, tending towards positive infinity. Okay, in our last example we talked about tending towards negative infinity and that would be negative is this way. We're now talking about positive infinity. And all we're trying to find out is does it approach positive infinity from below the horizontal asymptote or does it approach positive infinity from above the horizontal asymptote. Okay. What we're going to do is if we put an infinitely large value okay, into our original equation, our original equation being this, for x, we're going to put in a very, very large value. So we chose 5,000 last time. We can choose 4,000 if we like this time. Either way, it's a very large positive value. That's what our goal is, a very large positive value. We're going to take our f at x is equal to 3x plus 5, 2x minus 1. And all we're trying to find out is when we put in this very large value, uh, 4,000, let's say, is it going to be greater than the horizontal asymptote at 3 and 2? If it's greater than it, it approaches from the top. And if it ends up being less than 3 over 2, it is going to approach the horizontal asymptote from the bottom. Both times, though, heading towards positive infinity. That's what's important here. Okay? So I plug in positive 4,000. What's that? 12,005. Is that right? Yeah. Divided by 7,099. Okay. 7,099, is that right? And 12,005. What do we get as a calculator here? Divided by... greater than 1.5, okay? That was what's important. Because this is greater than, so this value here, f at, is greater than our 3 over 2. That means we're approaching the horizontal asymptote from the top when tending towards positive infinity. So in other words, when we go to draw it in our graph, it's heading in this direction, and it's, or it's coming at it from the top. 